Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Marvel Super Heroes set review. Today we're looking at set number 76187. This is called Venom and it will be available starting on April the 26th for $59.99 USD or $79.99 Canadian. And this was actually sent to me early by LEGO to do a review for and... I'm going to be honest, even before I was sent this and we saw like the leaked images and I saw the shape of the mouth, the coloring of the mouth, the tongue, it was already becoming my favorite helmet. Having built it, having built a total of five at the moment, it is my favorite. I can definitively say that. I don't know what it is. It's so simple. I think that it just looks the best out of any of them. It just looks so perfect. I just love the pink showing through there with the mouth. It's just so stunning i think that looks so great and it has a tongue which i think has maybe uh, one up over carnage and maybe it could have used a few stickers here and there to kind of give it a little bit more detail for the symbiote symbiote yes i'm going to be saying it both ways so that i don't offend a single party who pronounces symbiote symbiote one way so let's go ahead and let's just dive into this so i've seen a lot of people complaining that this just looks just like carnage it's a complete reskin recoloring of that one and you might be right in terms of the basic build of it but it is very different and i just think that like i was saying before the shape there of the jaw it might be the same as carnage but it is having a little bit extra in this set. And besides the tongue, there's something else there that you may not have noticed in pictures and things like that. And that is that there's actually some saliva, some venom venom. I don't really know, but there's these really cool transparent bright green drips dropping down actually onto this base, which is the same for all the Marvel ones. But as well as you could see it in behind there, in the mouth as well, that it's in behind the teeth, which looks so, so awesome. This tongue, you can position however you really want. Um, it just kind of sits there. I like it facing this way, but you also could if you wanted to remove it so you could have it closed just like carnage but uh you kind of have like that staring at you if you have it facing forward but that just looks really cool you get a better look there of the drips and everything inside there's even a transparent stud there like it's just so cool this unnecessary detail that they added into this that i think gets really overlooked in the official pictures the eyes are actually different just like carnage it is the exact same builds as carnage but it is different i'm not sure why they did that why the two eyes are built differently you could see there a stud showing and then there it's different so not sure what the decision was or the thinking was behind that but uh, it's still pretty cool when you turn it around you can see that it's got a pretty good shape I think like the pieces that they used here the whole shape of the head that they've accomplished I think looks really cool with the pieces they've selected and turning it around here nothing too special on the top of the head same thing nothing special going on there but uh, it still looks really incredible. I think that this just, it just looks like him. And again, the hot pink with the red and man, I, I don't know. There's just something really special about this. But let's take a closer look at this plaque. So while this set might be branded under something different on the actual box, it does have this Marvel logo, which is really neat. It is the same like plaque there as Carnage, which is a shame because I think that last year when they did Iron Man, it should have just been under Lego Marvel. Like, this is the way to go. This is the perfect way to go, I think. And same with Batman. It should just be branded under Lego DC instead of, like, Lego Batman or Lego Avengers. So I think that this is just really perfect. It's simple and it's a really cool print. Say with me now, looking at the packaging isn't something we normally do here on the channel but with these 18 plus boxes i think they're just so special and i really want to show you on the back because it does have some cool reference pictures but uh, it looks cool i love the black trim there as well here at the bottom it looks really neat there is actually a fire extinguisher just like from carnage but it's in black here which is pretty neat on the top of the box, there is uh, one of the pieces featured. And if you didn't see this logo before, it says assembled from the Spider-Man universe. Now, a lot of people think that this is from the Venom movie. If this was from the Venom movie, then it definitely needed some stickers. But before we zoom in, taking a closer look at the references there, I do want to show you the other side here and underneath just in case some of you care about that. But let's take a closer look at these reference pictures. So the reason I want to take a closer look at this is to show you that 
This isn't actually based off of the Venom movie or the the sequel that's coming out supposed to be this year. I think it's been delayed. I, I don't know. I can't be bothered to memorize movie release dates anymore. But uh, you could see here like the the Venom drips, which is cool there. Uh, the the spit, which is really neat. And uh, yeah, you can see that these are clearly the whole helmet is actually based off of the comics and not uh, the movies. So here's the instructions. And to be honest, if you get a chance to look at the Star Wars ones, they are really lucky, I got to say. Um, I like that it's simple and clean, but when you actually open it up here, you could see just like what's going on. And if you want to pause, you could read about uh, the designer here of this. But I am a little bit jealous because the other one has like a ton of reference pictures for Star Wars and it's just so cool looking. But uh, yeah, look at that there. He's like closing the jaw. Do you see that? The mouth looks a lot closed. I didn't think you can do that. Let me, I don't know. I'm going to try and do that. Uh, but anyways, looks really cool. Uh, the references and you could see like how uh, it was built. And yeah, it, it's neat. There's a bunch of cool colors and things like that inside these that you cover up, which just helps you when you're actually building it. You could see there in that picture. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Venom helmet. Let's Let's try this here. Hopefully we don't break anything. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't. Look, I just broke a ton of parts on the side. You can't close the jaw. But uh, I don't know what that was with that picture. It definitely looked like you could. But anyways, but anyways, everyone, this, I think, like I've said before throughout this video, I think this is my favorite helmet so far. I'm not sure what it is. I think that the only thing that I would improve about this would have like a few prints or a sticker somewhere to add to the symbiote symbiote effect. I just think that that's kind of missing. And honestly, just looking at those reference pictures, maybe chuck in some dark blue pieces or something like that to give this a little bit more depth or shading. Because I think that even with like Carnage, I think what really elevates that helmet is having the black in there with on the stickers, as well as just the pieces in general, it just kind of gives it more depth. And this one's just all black, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think that it looks really elegant and creepy. And I just think that Overall, it is just the perfect representation of any helmet I think that we've seen so far. Anyways, everyone, what do you think of the helmets in general? I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this one in particular, or even just the whole theme in general. Where does this rank on your list? And what Marvel characters would you like to see come in the future? I think that there's so much potential for more characters like this. I think that Spider-Man would work perfectly, honestly. I'm not sure how they would do like the black web lines and stuff like that, but I just think that overall just mass characters seem to be working better when looking at them all and I hope that they continue because this theme is this sub theme for superheroes and Star Wars is becoming one of my favorites so I'm very excited to see what 2022 has to bring for us with it being the 10 year anniversary of Lego superheroes but anyways everyone I hope you guys did enjoy this video be sure to check out here at the end a playlist of all the other Marvel Superhero 2021 sets that I have reviewed so far, as well as the Carnage review here linked at the end if you want to check that out so you can kind of do a comparison of the two. But be sure to subscribe as well and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO Marvel Superheroes news and reviews because we are just about to hit a very big time this year with all of these summer sets coming. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.